Do you ever feel like falling asleep while studying? Do you wish you could study more effectively without feeling tired? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. According to a study by the National Sleep Foundation, 60% of students report feeling sleepy during the day and 15% fall asleep in class at least once a week. This can have a negative impact on their academic performance, health, and well-being. I know how you feel. I used to struggle with studying when I felt sleepy, too. I would either give up and go to bed or force myself to stay awake and end up feeling miserable. But then I discovered these five simple steps that changed everything. And today, I'm going to share them with you. Step one, drink some water. Water is essential for your body and brain to function properly. It helps you stay hydrated, flush out toxins, and regulate your body temperature. It also helps you stay awake because dehydration can cause fatigue, headaches, and drowsiness. So drink a glass of water before you start studying and keep a bottle of water handy to sip throughout your study session. You can also add some lemon, cucumber, or mint to your water to make it more refreshing and flavorful. Step two, get some fresh air. Fresh air can do wonders for your mood and energy levels. It can help you clear your mind, relax your body, and stimulate your senses. It can also help you get some natural light, which can boost your serotonin and melatonin levels and regulate your circadian rhythm. So open a window, or better yet, go outside for a few minutes before you start studying. Breathe deeply, stretch your muscles, and enjoy the scenery. You'll feel more awake and refreshed when you come back. Step three, listen to some music. Music can have a powerful effect on your emotions and cognition. It can help you reduce stress, improve your mood, and enhance your memory and concentration. It can also help you stay awake depending on the type of music you listen to. So put on some headphones and play some music that suits your study style. You can choose classical music, instrumental music, or ambient sounds, which can help you relax and focus. Or you can choose upbeat music, pop music, or rock music, which can help you energize and motivate. Just make sure the music is not too loud, distracting, or lyrical, as that can interfere with your learning. Step four, choose some gum. Gum can help you stay awake in several ways. It can help you increase your blood flow, stimulate your nerves, and activate your brain. It can also help you reduce your hunger, boredom, and stress. So pop a piece of gum in your mouth before you start studying and chew away. You can choose minty gum, fruity gum, or any flavor you like. Just make sure you don't swallow it as that can cause digestive problems. Step five, take some breaks. Breaks are essential for your mental and physical health. They can help you rest your eyes, relax your muscles, and recharge your batteries. They can also help you improve your focus, retention, and performance. So don't study for too long without taking a break. Follow the Pomodoro technique, which is a time management method that involves studying for 25 minutes, followed by a five minute break. Repeat this cycle four times, then take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. During your breaks, you can do some light exercises, such as walking, jogging, or jumping jacks to get your blood pumping and your oxygen flowing. Or you can do some fun activities, such as playing a game, watching a video, or chatting with a friend to reward yourself and boost your morale. And there you have it. Five simple steps to study when you feel sleepy. Try them out and let me know how they work for you. And remember, sleep is important for your health and learning, so don't neglect it. Try to get at least seven to eight hours of quality sleep every night and avoid studying right before bed, as that can disrupt your sleep cycle and affect your memory. If you need more tips on how to sleep better, check out my previous video where I share some proven strategies to improve your sleep quality and quantity. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, 
please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from you, and I'll try to reply to as many as I can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. I upload new videos every week, so stay tuned for more awesome content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.